So yeah, this is a way to get extra cash, which we certainly need to make the next game. Do we need to do some research? Need to do lots, but we certainly need some cash. Let's see if we can get some three weeks for a character design, 21k. Uh, three weeks. Set of computers. Five weeks. 15k. I mean, yeah, that's the biggest risk. Do it. Come on, lads, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, he's got no chance. <laughs> oh. Walter, you've let me down. You've let me down big time, Walter. <sighs> right. We need to... Uh, see if we can generate a game report. See if we can learn anything from our dismal failures. I'm sure it did, but it didn't have much to compete against. Must have learned something from that. Yeah. See, why does it fail then? Everything was everything was in place. <sighs> Develop a new game. Oh, let's research. What can we research? A custom game engine. Maybe that's the way to go. We've got 50 research points. Let's do this thing. Let's make our own custom game engine. Make a new game with whatever cash we've got. <laughs> it's going to be very difficult. Ooh, even more difficult now. Okay. Okay. Oh dear. Right, so we <laughs> oh dear. So we have no money to do that with. Um we're gonna have to make another game. We've got to be quick about it too. Orc Stompa. Literally an orc stomper. Another dungeon RPG, because we know it's a good combination. Maybe we should copy Blizzard though. Maybe we should do <laughs> Oh do strategy. I've not got a fantasy genre yet, for some reason. I'm sure I had that straight away last time. I'm sure I was making fantasy games straight away. Uh right, TS, no, can't afford the license. Uh PC, gotta be. Uh gotta be. No choice. See, it says their gameplay is a little bit important, so maybe we should throw a bit more back into gameplay. Well, maybe. That must be from researching more than one of the same genre. So researching is very important. See, I think... A bit more in level design as well. Personally, that would make sense. And the sound, still, still nothing here. I'm going to leave that as it is. Maybe bring that down a bit. Go. Just don't have the time. I've still got six bugs to take out of this thing as well. Oh, it's got a poor design technology rating. Oh no. I'd be amazed if this does well. Yeah, I thought it might be a success. That Ninvento sounds like they know what they're doing. On the other hand, I don't. I've got some level up on story dialogues and level design. World design and graphics, well leveled up. Reach the game, we need money of any kind. 
even from a crap rubbish game. Oh. See, this is why football should do that. Because <laughs> they're desperate for money. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Bleh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, another one. You're telling me. Oh dear. Well, I'm not allowed to make many genres and I've no research points to make them because I spent them all on this stupid game engine which I can't build because I've no money. Ah! <laughs> okay. Uh, contract work maybe. Do a game report, try and get. Let's do a game report. We might learn something new. for it. I've absolutely no idea. Perhaps an evolution strategy game. And I've ever done that before. I can think of at least one. Try it. Let's try it. Let's go for it. Develop a new game. Uh, pick topic. Evolution. Pick genre. Strategy. Platform as always, PC, uh, GD graphics, because I can't do anything else. Oh, game 5, because I've got to name it. Oh, you noob. I think I can rename that. I think I might call it um, Spore, maybe? No, no. It's a silly name for an evolution game. Right, so I've no idea what I'm playing with here. Uh, engine is probably important. For a strategy game gameplay, which is yeah, yeah, I'm going with that. Okay. Target audience research. Okay, uh, we want good AI on a strategy game, don't we? We want really good AI. Level design is quite important too. Dialogues, not so much. I haven't forgotten about creating custom engines. I've made one, I just don't have any money to do anything with it yet. Uh, world design graphics and sounds. Graphics on a strategy game. World design on a strategy game and sound. Gonna go. Gonna go that. Gonna go that. Look at my money in the red. Oh dear. Could be bugs, bugs. He's just putting bugs. <laughs> he's putting them in the game. Fourteen and fourteen. That's pretty good. Right, game number five. It's actually what it's called. Cause we got overexcited and didn't name it. We've got an engine level up. We've got gameplay level up. We've got an AI level up. We've got a sound level up. And Walter, what have you made? Game research, game tutorials, and mono sounds are now available. Good okay. Seven. An eight. Oh yes, good job, Walter. It took you five games to make a decent game. 
Nine. Thank you, all games. Thank you. Oh, so that's a good game. That made us stop us from going completely bankrupt. Oh, well done. Let's get some research going though. Generate game report. Let's do that thing. And game number five. The legendary, unforgettable name, Game 5. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the Master V system. Yeah. It's totally original. Our post release analysis of game number five is complete. Evolution strategy is a great combination. I knew it would be. I didn't panic in the slightest. Gameplay seems to be very important. Platform genre match. Strategy and PC. Thank you. Hmm. What can we research? 99k. Excellent. What kind of topics do we have? Wealth is a topic, allegedly. Um, game tutorials. Mono sounds. Cost money as well. These target audience. Ooh. They'd both be very handy right about now. Don't think we can afford to do this yet. Target audience? No, because I want to make a game engine. I've been yearning to make a game engine. There's a chance to do it. Some version 2 2D graphics. Linear stories. Save games. Save games. Just think about it. Being able to save your game. Imagine that. Imagine if you could just open a menu and press save. That's genius. You've got to do it. You've got to do it. And uh, linear stories. That's 40k. If I do that as well, I'm going to go bankrupt. So. Super. Quest. Master. One. You're creating your own game engine. Good. Because the next thing we need to do is build another game. We're going to go back to RPGs. So we're going to use it and its ability to make linear stories. Okay. Develop new game. So we need a name for a game, which is going to be a dungeon RPG on, guess what, the PC, you guessed it. We're going to use the Super Quest Master 1 game engine, and we're going to call it Super Quest Master, how original. Start development. Okay. So stories and quests, as we know, very important. So it's all about that. A bit about gameplay. Not so much about the engine. That was good to me. Five is now off the market. It made lots of money. Which is good. Dialogues. How about the dialogues? Not so much about the AI. A little bit about the level design. Stop scratching your head, Walter, and make a game. Come on. Master V has been released. I'm not any interested in any of that new fangled console business. 12 design, that's pretty good so far. World design, it's all about world design. It's all about the world design. Go, Walter! Get that design rating up, come on! Higher! Higher! Get that design rating going. No. Come on, let's get those bugs out. 18 and 9. Maybe 
fitting in turn. I can't really afford to wait any longer. <laughs> New record. The tension is mounting. Release the game. What? Really? That was nearly a ten. It was nine, that'll do. Another nine? Oh yes. Another nine. Another nine! Nine's across the board. It's the golden age. The golden age for Walter. Excellent. Okay, let's uh, generate a game report for uh, Super Quest Master. The star in Walter's cap. Some research points coming in here. Okay. Shall we spend some hard earned cash on game design, gameplay, or sounds? Yes, I think we will. Mm-hmm. 